Hey, what's up? My name is Austin. I'm a current medical student, and I'm here to bring advice, tips, and strategies to help you become the best student you can be. To stay updated on new videos, go ahead and press subscribe right here, and that'll really help me out. Today's video is going to be about a new, awesome resource to greatly enhance your MCAT scores, and I think by the end of this video, you'll really like it. So I'm going to walk through how to use it. It's called Picturize. You're going to love it. Let's do it. So personally, as someone who self-studied for the MCAT and never took any courses, I'm a strong believer in the fact that it doesn't just matter how much you study, but how you study and what resources that you have available to you. So one of my goals with all these MCAT videos is to help provide all of you with the best resources out there at the best prices and the best way for you to prepare for your MCAT to score well and ultimately get accepted into medical school. So if you've seen my video on Anki, then you know that I recommend the 7 book Kaplan set to prepare for your MCAT. If you have not seen that video about how to use the software called Anki to greatly improve your MCAT scores, I would highly recommend you check out that video now and come back to this. So I'll link that up here so you can check that out, but pretty much Anki is an online flashcard system that streamlines efficient studying, it increases memory retention, and it's really great for the MCAT. So today I'm going to talk about something called Picturize and how you can seamlessly incorporate Picturize into your studying methods if you're using the 7-Book Kaplan set and you're using Anki. And even if you're not using those programs, you can still use Picturize to improve your memory and help understand concepts better. So basically what Picturize does is it taps into your visual learning by combining difficult to memorize concepts into easy pictures so that when you're thinking about different biochemical pathways or all the rules of psychology and sociology, you think back on a photo and all of the things that were drawn in there and that helps you remember the concepts. So a lot of you might not think that you're a visual learner and maybe you think that you are, but for me personally, I didn't think I was. But when I got to medical school and started using resources like Picturize and Sketchy Medical, I learned that visual learning is so helpful and it'll really help you memorize, learn, and understand concepts a lot easier. So now I'm going to take you to Picturize.com and show you because I think it'll be a lot easier if you started to see an example of how this works and how it can enhance your learning rather than hearing me just talk about it. Alright, so here we are at Picturize.com. So this is what you'll see when you first go here. Um, what I think is really cool and you'll notice right away is that they do make USMLE Step 1 material. So if you're not familiar with that, it's one of the parts of the board exam that you take when you're in medical school. So Picturize is awesome in that they make material for the MCAT and they also have a lot of cool, helpful resources for medical students as well. So if you really like their product, you can continue to use them as you go through medical school. Especially in the field of medicine, Learning is moving away from the traditional highlighting and reading out of these big textbooks and more into visual learning, watching videos, and engaging with the material. So as a pre-med right now, the faster you get into learning in this style, watching these videos, and using programs such as Picturize, I think that will give you a big leg up and a huge advantage once you start medical school and as you progress through your medical education. So here you'll see a little bit of what their program is like and how they use different symbols to represent different biochemical pathways and things that are difficult to remember as a pre-med or a medical student. So it might seem a little bit silly, but these are the silly things that once you see once, you're never going to forget. And that's what makes Picturize really good and this is why I like it a lot. If you just go down here, you see a little bit more about it. You can read about what I told you before. They use visual learning and they focus a lot on the high yield materials and that's why I think Picturize is so effective. So if we go back up here to the top, I'm going to walk you through how to use it for the MCAT. So you'll press on the MCAT tab up here, and it will take you to their main page. So if you scroll down here, you'll find something called the sample platter. So what's nice about Picturize is that they actually offer a few different types of sketches for free, so you can try out their product and see if it works for you and if you like it. So like I mentioned before, those psychology and sociology terms that can be really hard to remember, they put all of them into sketches. So let's go ahead and click on one of these and we can take a look at how to use it. So here on the right side, you'll see all the different types of videos and sketches that they have made to help difficult 
topics become a lot easier. So they have germ layer derivatives, like all those ectoderms, mesoderm, and endoderm derivatives that are super hard to remember, even as a medical student. So these videos are really helpful. If you scroll down, what's nice is that they're actually still working on a lot of different videos, so you'll keep getting new and relevant content as you subscribe to Picturize. So to kind of help talk about how to streamline and incorporate Picturize into your normal study routine, I'm going to go ahead and go to the cell junctions tab at gap junctions and just walk you through what these sketches are like and how you can learn and study from them. So I'm not going to watch the video right now, but if you normally click here, you can watch the videos and they walk you through and explain every different concept. But I want to key in on why I think this visual learning is so effective. And that's because when you see this picture and you watch the video, you remember things a lot easier. So gap junctions, they provide a summary down here, and you'll learn it from the video as well. They're a cytoskeleton component. They help form these channels that connect the cytoplasm of cells that are next to each other so they can communicate, they can transport water and different types of ions between one another. So in this sketch, you'll see here that they have a drawbridge, and that helps you remember the passaging of water and ions th between different cells. And where you find gap junctions, if you look at this AED over here, you find them in the heart and this symbol is going to be a recurring symbol so what's cool about Picturize is that when you find other types of junctions that are in the heart you're going to see this AED device symbol that goes throughout different sketches so it kind of builds upon your memory as you go on again here if you look at this wire that looks like a nerve you remember that gap junctions are also found in nerves and like I said about the heart, when you find other things that are found in nerves, this is going to be a recurring symbol that you're going to see and that's going to help incorporate and enhance your memory. So after watching the video and really understanding something like gap junctions, I would actually take it a step further and use Anki to help really hammer in this concept and to keep seeing this picture as a flashcard because then you'll remember and continue to associate all the things that you learned about gap junctions or any topic that you use Picturize for. And so when you're doing these flashcards, if you've seen the video I made about Anki before, you'll understand that it spaces it out in terms of space repetition. So the more you see this flashcard, you'll understand it more, you'll learn it better, and you'll keep seeing this picture each time too. So when you're thinking about gap junctions, you'll literally remember this picture, and you'll remember the AED that the medic is holding, and you'll remember that it's found in the heart, and it's found in the nerves, and that's honestly such a great way to learn concepts, and I've seen that it's helped me so much in medical school. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to incorporate this into Anki because you actually don't have to make your own Anki cards. What's really nice about Picturize is that when you have a subscription, they make Anki cards for you. So if you go over here to where you'll log in when you make an account, so you'll see your subscription here and we'll talk about at the end more about what type of plans that they offer for students. But if you keep going down, you'll see the Anki decks that they've made. And they're continuing to make more Anki decks for all the different videos that they're still working on that are in progress that we talked about earlier. But a lot of them have already been made here. And since we just talked about cell junctions, I'm gonna go ahead and download the cell junctions Anki deck and show you how to import that and how to use it with Anki. And so I actually have it saved here already. So. I'm going to take you to Anki now, so once you have that downloaded, you can jump on and activate your Anki program. And again, if you have not seen my Anki video, you can go ahead and watch that and I'll show you how to set up Anki, how to get it going, and how to work it out from there. So here we are at Anki, you'll see the two biochem chapters that I imported before and I made my video about how to use Anki and what settings to use. So these are the decks you'll just keep here for when you're doing your Kaplan 7 book set and you're going through the Anki cards for that. You'll have those decks here but you're also going to have a deck for the picturized sketches that you're using because this is going to enhance your memory and make it a lot easier for you to understand the concepts. So to import the picturized deck you just downloaded, it's very similar to how we did it before. You go to file, you go to import, and you'll just select the deck that we just downloaded. So the Picturize Cell Junctions. You open this up and it'll come in right here. Once you click Close, you'll see it right there. So there's 15 cards based on all three cell junctions. So I know we only talked about gap junctions, but I'll show you how it'll work when you use it with Anki. So if you go ahead and click on this deck here, and click Study Now, you'll see what I'm talking about. So gap junctions. And if you remember the drawbridge we looked at earlier, this was to remind you that the gap junctions are a cytoskeletal component that allows water and different ions to pass through between adjacent cells. So if you click spacebar, you can see what they explain here. It's a drawbridge gap, and like I said before, it allows for passage of water and ions between adjacent cells. So we got that right, we can go ahead and move on. 
But what I'm trying to show you is that as we keep going, we're going to keep seeing this picture in different type of symbols that we've learned before. And this will just help reinforce what we've learned and help us to keep this image in our brains and allow that visual learning to take into effect and help us to remember the difficult things that come in medicine. So here you're looking at those nerve endings that we talked about before. So if you press spacebar, you remember that it's found in the nerves. And if you keep going, you'll see that the next one will be the AED, and that's where, the, where we talked about gap junctions are found in the heart, and so on and so forth. So if you keep on doing these Anki cards, they're going to get spaced out, and you're going to keep seeing these pictures over and over again until they're just ingrained in your memory. And that's how I felt like it's been for me as well as a medical student and using these images for biochemical pathways and microbiology. So this is really helpful and I think that you'll really like it once you start using it and incorporate it into your everyday study routine with the Kaplan 7 book set with Anki and Picturize. So now I've taken you back to Picturize.com and this is their main page because I want to talk about some of the subscription plans that they offer for students. So if you go to the subscribe tab over here and then you click on pre-medicine MCAT, you'll see that Picturize offers a one year plan for $70 or a six month plan for $50. And if you've seen how much testing companies can charge for MCAT courses or different types of bundles, I think you'll agree with me that these prices are pretty fair. And to make things even better, I've actually partnerized with Picturize, so for a limited amount of time, I can offer all of you a 50% discount code, and that code is AustinMCAT, and I'll put that in the description. So now you can get that plan for six months for just $25, or the one-year plan for $35. I don't want you to just go ahead and buy this program because I've said so. I want you to try it out and make sure it's something that works for you and can really help you out. So what's nice about Picturize is that they offer a few of their videos for free on YouTube. So I've made a tab up here, connect to their YouTube channel which is just Picturize. And you can go ahead and jump over and check these videos out on YouTube and just really try to understand and see if you like what they're doing and if these videos work for you. And if they do, you can go ahead and do that subscription. You can use my discount code, which is AustinMCAT. I'll put that in the description. And then you can use that to get the Anki decks and all the programs and videos that they offer. And they're a really helpful program. And just being a medical student and having used Picturize alongside Anki and other visual learning programs such as Sketchy Medical, which you will for sure hear a lot more about when you enter medical school. I know just how powerful these programs are and how they can make those really difficult concepts just so, so much easier to memorize when you associate it with a nice visual picture. Alright, uh, welcome back. We're done screen sharing for today, so now you're just stuck with me for the rest of this video. But I hope that what we talked about today was really helpful for you to better understand Picturize, how to use it, and how to incorporate that into your daily MCAT study routine. So if you're following what I did in my Anki video and what I talked about today, I just wanted to quickly recap and talk about how I would recommend you go about studying for the MCAT. So this would be to use the Kaplan 7 book set to learn material chapter by chapter and then using those Anki flashcards to reinforce that memory retention after you learn those chapters. So if you did just Kaplan chapter 1 biochem just now, you're going to import that chapter 1 biochem deck into your Anki cards and start doing those flashcards to retain the long term memory retention that you'll need for when you take your MCAT. Similarly, when you do the picturized videos for those really difficult concepts like the ectoderm, mesoderm, and endoderm derivatives that no one remembers really well, you're going to do the picturized videos and then add those Anki cards to your Anki deck and keep doing those reviews as you go on and study for your MCAT. By keeping up with the Anki reviews each day and adding new cards as you watch a new picturized video or read a new Kaplan chapter, eventually you're going to finish all the content review and you're going to be ready to move on to the practice test section of the MCAT preparation. So I talk about which practice tests are the best to take in my other video about how to get accepted into medical school, but the bottom line is the AAMC makes four practice tests that are available for MCAT test takers that are the most representative, the best type of questions, and the ones that you should save for last to do before your MCAT. But I hope that through using these programs such as Anki and Picturize to really hammer in these content and material, you'll find that when you take these practice tests, they're not as bad as you think and you have all the information in your brain that you need to answer the question correctly. And so it's my hope that this would translate to improving your MCAT score and getting that amazing MCAT score that I know all of you have worked hard for and that I want to see you achieve. This brings us to the conclusion of our video today. I really hope that was helpful for all of you and that you can find the same success that I did using Aki and Picturize in your daily study routine. 
Between today's video and the other video I made regarding how to use Anki, I think that I provided all the information that I can regarding MCAT preparation. And so this is probably going to be the last video I make about MCAT and studying unless you all have more questions or comments about what I did or what you should do. So if you do have those questions or comments, feel free to let me know in the comments. Um, I've also made a Facebook group page that I'm going to link in the description where I think all of you can interact, discuss, and ask me more questions directly if I have not answered them in my videos or I have not gotten to them in the YouTube comments. My next videos, I'm going to talk about more of the AMCAS process, personal statements, secondary essays, and interviews. So just kind of moving on to the next stage of the medical admissions process. So if you're interested in staying up to date and hearing about those videos, be sure to subscribe. And I hope all of you have a wonderful day.